all governments are immoral and criminal institutions because they force everyone under threat of violence to pay mandatory taxes for life. There are hundreds of taxes from property tax to income tax to inheritance tax. You must pay them all or else the government will use the power and force of its machinery to seize your bank account, arrest you, and put you in jail. How is that any different than the Mafia? Governments demand we pay our dues regularly, promise us we'll be safe and protected if we do. And if we don't, agents come around to shake us down or put us away. If taxes were voluntary, then governments wouldn't automatically be immoral or criminal because they would be completely funded by donation only. Thus, their very existence limited by voluntarism. Name one thing that governments provide that people couldn't do better, easier, and more efficiently at the community level. There is nowhere on earth you can go that isn't controlled by a statist government. Every piece of land has been divided up and claimed by 196 nations, all of which are controlled by some form of forced governance. There is nowhere left on earth that sovereign, freedom-loving individuals can go live freely without a mafioso government forcing them to pay taxes and obey laws. All current forms of government initiate and mandate violence and slavery upon their populations. We are all slaves to our governments because every nation forces under threat of violence and kidnapping that we must pay them a percentage of our income. So if the definition of slavery is forcefully taking 100% of someone's income, what is it called when governments forcefully take 60% of someone's income? Is that not slavery? We are taught in school that slavery ended long ago, and it is universally understood that slavery is immoral. But if governments still are forcibly taking even 1% of their population's income, that is still slavery, and even